So these are the skills that have served me the most when it comes to doing any kind of online business. And just in case you don't know who I am, my name's Ron Carter. I had a consulting business just last year where we did 100K in revenue. It's not a ton, but it's enough to, to know that I did a process that worked, right? And, uh, and since then, I shut that business down. I started a community uh, on school, started two communities on school and had them profitable within the first 30 days. Um, had hundreds of members from my free community, some people coming into my paid community. And, and all of this happened and it happened quickly because of knowing, because of these skills that I'm about to talk about and knowing which ones to focus on first. Now, just to be frank with you, I had years and years of struggle before those accomplishments that I just talked about. Right, and that's because I wasn't focusing on the right skills at the right time. And so that's why I wanted to share this with you and hopefully it helps. So there's some core skills that a lot of us, you may or may not know about when it comes to bringing a dollar across the line online. And this applies to whether you're a coach, consultant, uh, whether you're selling somebody else's product, um, genuinely any kind of info product, or consulting service. And so this is the skill that, let me just list off all the skills first, right? So there's sales, marketing, the two different things, two different skills, sales, marketing, content creation. Uh, we have paid ads, we have funnel building. So building funnels, websites, lead capture forms, things like that, things that collect somebody's name and email address, um, or even sell something for you on a web page. Then we have email automation. And then we also have fulfilling the product, coaching, working with other people, if it's your own product. So there's like seven skills here, right? And when I first got started learning this stuff, I was trying to learn like all seven at the same time. And the thing that I focused on the most was like website development, automation, funnels, email automation, because I wanted to build this thing that just spits out money on autopilot. And this is what led to years of struggle because I was new and trying to do that. And out of all those skills that I just listed, the thing that's going to bring in revenue the fastest or even get people into a free community, the fastest is understanding sales. Not just understanding it, but actually doing sales, having sales conversations over and over and over again, whether they're on the phone, whether they're through the DMs, through Messenger, the more that you do, the more you will truly understand. And, uh, I used to think that I understood sales because I would watch a course uh, and I would take notes while I'm watching the course. I'd be like, all right, like I got it. All this info is just downloaded into my head. I got it now. And, uh, and it's just like watching a video tutorial on how to play basketball and think that you're gonna go make the NBA because you watched the video. It's like, no, you actually have to get out there and do the thing. And the important thing about sales is, is I mean, it brings revenue in the door. It feeds the business, it feeds you. And so those first couple years that I was trying to do this stuff, I, I wasn't focusing on sales at all. I was focusing on building out the automation. And all of these different skills, they kind of build on each other. The more people, this is what I realized, the more people that I had sales conversations with, well, the more information I got about the, the prospect or the, the type of person that I'm looking to help because they tell me all of their pains, things that they're struggling with, the things that they're wanting to achieve, really valuable information to use in my marketing. Because I just mirror back those same pains, those same struggles, the same destination that they want to get to. And then in my marketing, in my content, I'm actually able to attract the same people who have these same problems and then be able to have them engage in my content, then I can start conversations with them, have a sales conversation with them. So it's like the more sales conversations you have, the more effective your messaging will be for your market. And also, what I also discovered is that that messaging that I get, the information that I get from my sales conversations, 
is what I should be putting in my automated campaigns. So my emails, my, my funnels that I was trying to build for years, I was trying to build funnels and emails. And even when I would get people into them, they wouldn't work. They wouldn't convert. People wouldn't buy. I didn't know why. And it's because I didn't understand. I didn't understand their pain points. I didn't understand what it is that they wanted to achieve. I didn't understand the main thing that was holding them back in their mind. If I did, it would have been a lot easier to craft an email that speaks to those things and get people to take action. And the thing is, I can't, I can't really guess correctly exactly what pain they're in or exactly where they want to go or and why they want to go there and why it's important to them. Um, I can't guess what's getting in the way for them. The only way for me to know is to ask people in the market that I'm trying to serve. And that's what I did. After having hundreds and hundreds of conversations with people, I was like, oh, this is where they're at. This is where the majority of them want to go. And the majority of them is, are saying that this is what's in the way. And so then I build automations that reflect that information. And then people go through and they convert. It's the same thing for running ads. I'm running ads now uh, to my communities. And they work because I know this information. And I don't, I didn't get this data from like just meditating on a mountain and thinking of it and thinking it's a good idea. Like, no, I got it from having conversation after conversation, sales conversation after sales conversation after sales conversation after sales, after sales just over and over and over again. And so that's when things started working for me, when I started actually focusing on learning the skill of sales and I had no idea at the time that not only would this help me bring in revenue, bring cash in, but the information that I would get from the, from the sales process would be the building blocks of everything else that I was trying to build. It's like the most important data that we can get. Um, so I hope that helps you if you're in a spot where you're like, man, I'm trying to build all these automations. I'm trying to build these communities. I'm trying to build these funnels, these web pages. I'm trying to do ads and like, and none of it's working, but you're not focusing on just having individual conversations with people and getting this data and you get the data and then you say, I could definitely help you with that. You mind if I share something that would help? And they say, yes. And then you share your offer. It's like that you get a sale doing that and you get the data to be able to build all this other stuff. At least that's what I did. Um, and so that's the most valuable skill. That, that's it. Um, don't even focus on all the other stuff. Like just focus on sales, getting that data. And the next thing that you need to do will be revealed when it's time to do it. That's what I found has been the best, the best way to keep moving forward and, and start getting results. And if you're wondering like, well, what do I do for sales? Um, if you check out this video that I have up in the corner, it's in one of these corners, uh, I'll just go through my process and how I look at sales. And this is after having over 6,000 different sales conversations, either in the DMs or on the phone over the last couple of years. So it's pretty refined um, and hopefully that will help you. But anyways, see you in the next one. That's it, bye.